Oh my gosh, this is a Fry and Buckwold, and Passover is just around the corner. In fact, the first Seder is Monday night. Now, at the Seder, we try to involve the children as much as we can. We have uh, the four questions. We have the four sons. We have the dipping of uh, the foods into the liquids. We have uh, the afikoman so that they will stay awake. We remove the Seder plate. We put the Seder plate back. We cover the Seder plate. We uncover the Seder plate all to engage the children. So why is there so much emphasis at our Passover Seder on children? Because the real story of Passover is that Pharaoh was out to get the children because he knew that by getting the children, he got the future of the Jewish people. And that's why it first began with a decree that Pharaoh told the midwives to kill all the Jewish children that were born. And then when that didn't work, and they refused to listen to him, he decreed that all male children should be thrown into the river. According to the Medrash, the legendary interpretation of the Bible, when there were not enough bricks to fill the quota of the Jewish slaves, they plastered Jewish children into the walls. According to the Medrash, Pharaoh became a leper and bathed in the blood of Jewish children. Why this obsession with Jewish children? Because that's the future of the Jewish people. And that's why Jewish children play such a key role in Passover. And we must remember that because that is our posterity. I'd like to just share on a personal note that yes, another little Jewish child, a little boy was born in our family, a grandson. And we celebrated that. And we pray that a lot of little Jews, boys and girls, will be born to our families, our collective families, and that the future of the Jewish people will be certainly ensured. Happy Passover to all.